The National Hurricane Center uses computer models, but it's also important to feel the full force of a storm to see how things like building supplies hold up. Fortunately, researchers have a way to create the power of a storm whenever they want. Before we go under the wall of wind, it's all about safety, safety, safety. Okay. We want to be careful once inside the facility. And of course, all of us have to wear a hard hat and we'll be good to go. Located on the Florida International University campus, the Wall of Wind Research Facility is pushing the limits, advancing our ability to be better prepared when the next storm hits. The research we're doing here is now figuring out how the built environment can be more resilient. So there's less damage with the next storm. And the star of the show is right here. 12 massive size fans, each weighing about 15 thousand pounds about six feet high that together can pack winds of over 157 miles per hour. But to truly replicate the power and strength of a category five hurricane, it's more than just wind. Now we have to get the personality of the hurricane. Here in the flow management, we have the three spires. That starts some of that turbulence. But also on the three spires, we have the water nozzles where we put in the water to replicate eight to nine inches of rainfall. Wow. On the bottom, you see all these metal tiles. That's your roughness or friction zone. So think of downtown Orlando with all the tall buildings and trees. That's what happens in the natural environment. With the storm environment now set, Started. testing can begin. On objects like shingles, metal roofs, solar panels, even traffic lights. Engineers and scientists work together, researching that data, in turn, creating better products and building codes to withstand impact. Computer models and technology have come a long way, but they're not the real thing when it comes to a real wind and real water hitting a real structure. And as we've seen in recent years, that real wind keeps getting stronger. Hurricane Dorian in 2019 rapidly reaching speeds of 185 miles per hour, devastating the Bahamas. With climate change issues and more extreme events, the United States, a country as a whole, has to think more forward in terms of how can we be more resilient now to more extreme weather. To stay ahead of this changing climate, FIU's Extreme Events Institute was just awarded a $12.8 million grant for a new testing facility that can conjure winds of up to 200 miles per hour with a large pool to simulate storm surge and wave action. This new vision will then be able to go to those higher wind speeds, bring in those other hazards of a hurricane, and now be one place to bring all that research under one roof to try and capture everything that's going on when a coastal community or inland community is affected by a hurricane.